this video we're going to look at modifiers and uh, bevels and some weird things that can creep in. Uh, so things aren't behaving the way you uh, think they should be. There's there's really a thousand things that could be going on, but here's some common ones. Uh, the first thing I checked is I went to face orientation uh, to make sure that all I'm seeing is blue and that nothing is reversed. Uh, that's really important on all the Boolean modifiers. Uh, once you're satisfied, that's not the issue. Uh, you can uncheck that. So the order of the modifier is really important. Here, if I delete all of them, so you see the original, this cube already had a bevel on it. And we'll undo that, put them back. All right, so it already had the original kind of outer bevel right here on the big edges. Uh, but what I want to do is bevel these uh, indentations and right now the bevels the fourth modifier if I push it up to the top it'll bevel first before it cuts out any of the holes if I push the bevel down one it'll cut out the first hole and bevel uh, and then cut out the second third fourth fifth sixth side so if I push the bevel down again you'll see that the two side got beveled because now the second boolean is processing before the bevel now if I move the bevel to the third past the third boolean, that gets beveled as well. And we'll look at the fourth side. Now, I'm gonna push the bevel down again. What in the world just happened? So you see everything is going okay, and I push the bevel down again, and uh, instead of side four getting beveled, nothing's being beveled now. So I do want everything beveled, so I do need to put the bevel at the bottom, but I also wanna make it work. Depending on uh, your values here, that could be an issue. Uh, but I did see the bevel work out earlier, so I think that this is pretty okay. Uh, another culprit can be this clamp overlap right here. I'm going to turn off clamp overlap. And it basically applied the bevel. It did apply the bevel. Uh, and you can see there's an issue right here. Uh, there's also an issue on the 5 side. It has the same kind of thing going on right here in this bottom left and the bottom has something similar going on right here. I'm just going to mess with the one on the four side. So here's the original side four dots right here. Now what is actually happening here? In order to see what's happening, I'm going to let's go ahead and apply everything except the now I'll just apply the bevel four, a boolean four. All right, now I'm gonna go into edit mode. So now I just applied this Boolean right here. And oh, let me turn off, I don't really wanna see this bevel happening either, so I'm turning that off as well. All right, so everything looks fine here, but if we look closely right here, if I highlight this, uh, it says one vertice, but I'm going into X-ray mode. So this is the regular mode here, uh, opaque mode. Uh, what do they call it, solid mode. So I'm going to uh, wire edges, but really what I want is this is this option right here. This is x-ray mode, which lets you see through the object. Now this could be very dangerous because if you try to select this uh, vertex, you're also selecting a whole bunch of stuff behind it. So you got to be very careful when you're in this mode that you don't accidentally select things you don't want. Uh, but aiming the camera carefully is important here. So I'm going to select what I think is one vertex. And if you look on the left, in the statistics, I'm actually selected two vertices. Uh, if I do the same thing down here, two vertices, two vertices, but back here it's just one vertex as we expect. So there's an issue that the way the Boolean cut, uh, it actually created two vertices that have, I believe, have the same exact coordinates. They're right on top of each other, and we have to turn them into one vertex. There's a few ways to do it. I could select everything, M to merge, now merge at by distance, uh, Depending on the scale of your model, you may need to change this uh, merge distance, but I'm going to just keep it right here. Uh, and that is one way to fix it. So it's just merge. Now I'm highlighting one vertex, whereas before these were two vertices. Uh, I'm going to turn the bevel back on, and you see that everything is good. All right. There is one issue uh, that I'm going to have to go and do this for all the sides. Uh, so that can be pretty annoying. 
and later I may want to change uh, the shape I cut out. All right, so let's fix this, fix this in a non-destructive way. So I'm going to undo all this stuff. And I think this will leave on. I don't want to be in x-ray mode. Okay. So this still, I still have my uh, Boolean 4 right here. All right, there's a different way to fix this. So I'm going to make side 4 visible again. Uh, it might be better to not see the bevel right now. So I'm going to side 4. So these are the dots that uh, we use to use a Boolean and take the difference or make a cutout. Now, if you look very closely, these vertices right here, the Y coordinate is what's important. And all these Y coordinates are one right here. So that's totally fine. All these Y coordinates are one, as you would expect. And same thing, all of these Y coordinates are also one. So everything looks great. Uh, go back and select the cube now. And I'm using tab to go between object and edit mode quickly. And in this, the Y coordinate is one, 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 one. So all the Y coordinates I want are one. They should be on the same plane. Now, morally, they are on the same plane. However, the way numbers are stored in computers is there's a decimal approximation. Uh, so it's not exactly storing it as one. It's storing it as a floating point number, uh, very close to one. Uh, and so sometimes when the math gets going and Blender computes the differences, it's not exact. And that little bit of error is what we saw showing up here. It also showed up on five and six. So how do we fix that? So I'm clicking on side four. So the way I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna take these dots, I'm gonna grab them on only the Y axis because I wanna move them, I'm gonna move them a little bit out, but I only, only wanna move them a tiny bit out. There's a few ways to do it. I could look down the X axis, zoom in a bit. Now when I grab G, Y to slide on the Y axis, I'm just going to move it over just a tiny bit. And what I was looking at was right up here. So however much I moved it right there, that tiny bit. Okay, now we'll hide this, look at our dice again, back to the modifiers. All right, so we got Boolean four, uh, so you can see that's that's right there. Yeah, it technically it moved the vertices a tiny bit in here. It moved them sort of to the right a little bit, but only a very small amount. It probably wouldn't matter. Uh, but when I turn the bevel back on, look at that. It's fixed, and I fixed that issue with having the duplicate vertices uh, on top of each other. And so that fixed the dot right there. Now uh, I can go do the same thing on the side six um, in object mode. I could grab here G, Z. Now you can also type a number. I think I want to go down here. So negative 0 0.001, enter. That slid it down the tiniest little bit. Now I can hide side six. And that was enough to let us uh, to correct the issue. Uh, you can play around with other properties of the bevel, uh, but clamp overlap is what uh, the key to take off here. Now, why do we have clamp overlap? What is it useful for? If you bevel too much, your bevel could go outside of this constrained area right here. So if I bevel too far, I'm gonna cross this edge and that's where things get bad. So if I increase my amount right here, that's where you start, whoa, 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 whoa. That's where you start to screw things up. Um, and that's what the clamp overlap addresses, but it doesn't always address it in a way that you want. So you can turn off clamp overlap, but you do then have to be careful that you're not going outside of wherever the buffer is that you've created.